Yo, what is up, guys? Your boy Corday here, back again with another video, man. And today, guys, as you saw by the title and thumbnail, we are doing a reaction video today. So basically, what I'm gonna be doing from now on on the weekdays, I'm gonna be doing reaction videos and Fortnite content, and on um on the weekends, as I told you already, challenges, vlogs, whatever on the weekends. So um. Without further ado, subscribe to the channel, drop a like on this video. Let's just head right into this. All right, guys. So we got the story right here, story number one. We're probably only going to be watching one of these stories, so let's get into it. I am Corey. I live with my parents in Cape Town. I can't leave my parents alone. Music, they are always though. worried about me after what happened to my sister a year back. My sister was in high school. She was always a moody teen, getting upset and annoyed at very little matters. I used to work in a bookstore near her school. One day, when I went to pick her up from school, I saw her fighting with a boy standing on the school sidewalk. As soon as I reached close, she ended the conversation with him and got into my car. She didn't say a single word the entire way. I wanted to give her some space, so I thought to ask her later about it. The next day was a Saturday. To cheer up my sister's mood, I decided to spend some time with her. I went to her room. She was hooked on her computer. I sat down beside her and said, so, what's the plan for today? Wanna do something fun? Casey rolled her eyes at me and didn't say anything. Handling a teenager is a tough job, but I was adamant too. I saw Casey reading something online. What are you reading? I asked her. Casey told me that she is surfing the dark web. Just like Cora on Google, where you can ask and get answers for your questions. Oh. Dark web also has a similar platform named Hidden Answers. But at Hidden Answers, people can ask any question, no matter how bizarre that turns out to be. As dark web can be accessed under untraceable identity, people can get very creepy at such platforms. Trust me, I am saying from my own experience. I told Casey, I don't think this is safe, Casey. Just to be updated on what my little sister is getting into, I started to surfing dark web in my pastime oh, too. So why would you do the platform Hidden Answers safe? is beyond disturbing. Why would I you couldn't do believe it? people can be this why? insane. I read a small conversation where someone has asked, how can I get rid of my mother's dead body without getting into any trouble? I was fucking scared. I thought someone must be joking about it, but as I read the replies, I realized he wasn't. What felt creepier is that someone replied to this saying, you can chop the body into small pieces and slowly get rid of it. For example, you can feed the solid pieces to your dog or neighbor's dog secretly and then burn down the rest of it every night in little amounts. I did the same with my husband's. I immediately disconnected oh my myself from that page God. and decided to talk to my sister to stay away from dark web as well. The next day when I took Casey for grocery shopping, I told her about the terrifying conversation and hidden answers, but I got surprised seeing her reaction to this. Casey just shrugged her shoulders and laughed at me. Chop the body up, chat. That's what you gotta do. All you gotta do, take that nice little ax, And feed it to your dog. Don't do that. Laughed at me. God, sis. Stop telling me what to do. Get a life of your own, dude. She said rudely. I was hurt. I didn't say anything more because I knew so she will weird. throw more Drop attitude on me. Up. So I avoided having any more conversation with her on this matter. But I really wish I did more. I really wish I told her how much I cared for her before she took that one drastic step, which changed all of our lives forever. Casey was out on a sleepover at her friend's house. I was having dinner with my parents. My mom suddenly said something very weird. She looked at me and said, Corey, I think Casey is up to something unholy. I wasn't expecting something like this, unholy. so I was very shocked. I asked, why do you say that, mom? 
My mom told me that in the afternoon she was cleaning my sister's room and she found some very uncanny stuff under her bed. I went to her room and looked under her bed. There was a long rope with a couple of candles shaped like snakes and some burnt pages inside a wooden box. I couldn't read the half burnt pages, but I realized Casey is getting out of bound now. I told my parents I will look after all this and they don't have to worry about it. The next day, I went to her school secretly and looked for that boy whom I saw fighting with Casey the other day. I asked him about all the stuff I found under her bed. The boy told me that he broke up with Casey after she told him to take part in some satanic ritual that she read on Dark oh, Web. No, satanic she ritual? said that this ritual can give some kind of ecstasy by leading someone into the spiritual experience of a lifetime. What I was really worried about my sister. I went straight home and waited for her return. As soon as Casey got home, I noticed her eyes were red and puffed. I realized Holy. something happened at her friend's house last night because it was clear she didn't get any sleep there. She walked up to her room and closed the door. I knocked on her door saying, Casey, open the door. I know you're up to something very- All right guys, as you see, this is an ad, so I'll catch you in the ad over. Bro, that's so creepy though, chop. I just can't stop thinking about that. Like, I All right, the video is back guys, so let's continue watching this. It's very creepy. You have no idea how dangerous this can all be. Open the door right now. She didn't open the door for once. Instead, screamed from her room saying, why can't you just mind your own business? It's my life, okay? I am not your little sister anymore. I will come out when I feel like it. <laughs> I didn't know what else to do. My parents weren't at home. They went to see my grandmother, so it was just me and my sister in the house. I went downstairs and sat on the couch thinking I will talk to her when she comes out. That's I don't remember when I dozed off, but when I woke up, things felt like a nightmare. Only the nightmare was real life this time. Someone tied my hands tightly in the back. I was lying on the ground as my mouth was taped too. I started to panic, thinking there's a burglar in our house. I was shit scared and worried about Casey. I tried to scream in a muffled voice, but my voice only sounded like a repressed cry. As I opened my eyes, I saw the door was locked from the inside, but I could hear voices upstairs. After a few minutes, the sounds of footsteps appeared in my ear. Someone was walking down the stairs. It was my little sister, except she was not the same person anymore. Casey was wearing all black. I assumed she tied me up this way after making me unconscious with chloroform or something like that because my head was feeling heavy. She leaned on my face. I started to sob and she began to <laughs> laugh hysterically. Casey was oh completely God. out of her mind. She then said, I know you will try to stop me, but you just can't, Corey. I am going to be part of something spiritual. The more she spoke, the more insane she sounded. She further said that she read on Hidden Answers that a satanic cult claimed that attempting suicide can give one the most spiritual experience in life. The experience oh, duh, comes you be right dead. before the moment you feel you are going to die. At that moment, one can see the universe winding up in front of their eyes. What happened next destroyed a young life and damaged our family forever. In front of my very own eyes, Corey climbed on the chair nearby and tied her neck to a rope hanging oh from the ceiling. God. I sprinted on the ground trying to free myself, but I couldn't do anything. My eyes could not believe what it was witnessing. She was about to do something so horrible from which she could never turn back, but only if she understood that. I cried and screamed and tried deliberately to free my hands so that I could <laughs> run to her and stop her. Casey stared at me blankly in that position and said, Don't worry, Corey. I won't die. I will take it off at the right moment. All I want to see is who I am. I want to experience what they said they did. I knew she was sick. Her eyes moved randomly as she spoke. I could tell from her creepy smile that she needed help. But I couldn't do anything. I was helpless. A loud thud took place as she kicked the chair. 
her body started to shake like fish out of water. And suddenly, Casey held her rope and tried to take it off, but, oh, my little sister, she couldn't. It was tied so tightly that her feet kept swinging in the air. She was choking in front of my eyes. I cried and cried, but nothing made the moment stop when my parents got home. My mother shattered on the floor, seeing my little sister's lifeless body hanging from the ceiling. My father didn't know what to do as he saw her hanging in our living room, and I was unconscious, lying on the floor, tied and taped. The cops were called, and they took out her body in a stretcher. I lost my sister. She died in front of my eyes, and I couldn't save her, even though I tried really hard. Dark wow. web took her from our lives. My mother doesn't talk anymore. That's great. She just sits in our living room, staring at the ceiling from where Casey hung herself. Oh I suggested God. many I times to so shift creepy. to another house, but she refuses each time. My mother believes Casey is still with us in the house. But if you are watching this, I want to tell you that Dark Web is not the right place to look for solutions if it you are is. having any kind I'm of trouble with yourself. Web. Please stay away from this hellhole, or it will sink you down so deep that you will never be able to come out of it. Don't Talk to your to friends and family whenever you feel you need help. Also, help others when you see them in the same situation. I searched and searched, but couldn't find any trace of that coke group on dark web hidden answers. I can't sleep at night as I get nightmares seeing my little sister gasping for air while choking herself to death. There is nothing I can do which will bring her back. All right, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, man. That was definitely pretty creepy right there. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. It's been your boy for day. And I'm out. Peace.